couple spins, puts up a runner, and that's good. And that this system is, is perfect for Corey and the kind of player that he is, one that likes to get up and down and plays in transition, needs to play in open space. Um, he's very aggressive and a kid that can score in, in multiple ways. He lost it on the dribble. Anthony Collins picks it up, lead pass to Corey Allen, breakout layup, and the Bulls get their first bucket, and that's also the first bucket of the game. Corey, very aggressive offensively and defensively on the ball, but uh, I think he's an open court player. He likes to have the ball in the open court, and I think we try to give that to him and throw it up to him and let him make plays. Uh, he's been, he's been uh, well, I've heard in the past he was more of a penetrator, but he's been able to shoot the ball uh, more this year. Uh, but he's one of those open, you know, give, give me the ball and an and, and aggressive type player. So we just try to put him in positions, whether it's coming off screens where he can get in the lane and make plays, whether it's being in the open court and he can make plays. Quick trigger three off the inbounds by Tulane and a rebound by USF. Corey Allen Jr. makes a move to the basket around a couple guys, strong to the hole and in, and Corey now gets his second field goal of the game. He's got four points. If you guard him one-on-one, -on -one, he, he's probably going to get the best of you because he's so quick with the ball. Defensively, he's our best on the ball defender uh, when he doesn't gamble uh, for steals. He's, he's one of our better guys on the ball, if not our best guy on the ball. And Corey just made a steal in the open floor. Uh, sometimes he he's a little bit too uh, reactionary for steals and wants to make plays defensively, which sometimes hurts him and hurts us. But we can't take away his aggressiveness. That's the way he plays, and he's our best uh, defender that can disrupt them. Collins dribbles into the paint, kicks out to Corey. Ball fake goes around a man. Now he's in the paint. Floater is good for Corey Allen Jr. And the Bulls lead back to a half dozen. Corey just kind of probed his way through the defense, finally found an opening for that little 12-footer. Yeah, I think Corey's done a really uh, great job of embracing our new style of play. Um, I think he's benefited a lot tremendously. He's improved on his game from last year. Uh, really shooting the ball well, using his speed and his quickness uh, to create mismatches on the floor. and. Um, you know, he's a smart player, so he's making the right reads. And, um, and I think he's confident and he's comfortable in knowing that we need him to produce and score. And I think he's accepted that role. So I think the spacing on the floor really helps him get into gaps, try to beat his man off the dribble. Um, we do certain things for him to get shots. So it's not just on the ball, but it is off the ball because he's one of our better shooters. Um, and we're just, um, you know, really trying to make him become a complete player. Left side, Corey Allen. He'll load up a three. This is big. That's good. Rebound, gets a screen for Bo Ziggler, around his man, and all the way to the basket for a tough reverse layup to cut the lead back to six. Now he slows down at the arc. Corey Allen Jr., long distance, three! That was as deep as we've seen all season, and the Bulls have cut the margin in half. Um, it's a fast-paced offense. It's about getting up and down the floor, um, getting after the defensive-wise, um, and just trying to capitalize off uh, our opponent's mistakes. They're just trying to get fast buckets off of that. It's it to Corey Allen. They leave him alone. Takes a high-arcing three. Swished it in! On the right wing, Allen drops one in from the rafters, and the Bulls have taken the lead. Yeah, it fits me well. Um, I've been playing fast-paced basketball ever since I was, like, in eighth grade. And ever since um, my freshman year coach introduced it to me, I felt pretty comfortable playing it. The previous year, I had to play point guard, um, and we kind of played, like, a half-court offense. And, um, I didn't feel that fit my, my game well, but this year it fit my game well just because um, I've been doing it ever since I was in eighth grade, just getting up and down the court, showing my athleticism. Now three makes from beyond the arc. Corey Allen answers at the other end with a three. If I were to describe Corey for you, I would say uh, pound for pound, probably one of the uh, toughest kids that you can come across for what he's able to do and get out of his body um, he's got a huge heart, huge competitive spirit, and uh, maximizing uh, his opportunity. For the latest on Bulls basketball, log in to GoUSFBulls.com. Follow Coach Antigua on Twitter at USF Coach O. Follow USF Basketball on Twitter at USFMBB. This is Bulls Basketball.